Okay, track has been cleaned, all spick and span, because today is something special, and I definitely wanted that track spot free for sure. <laughs> uh, if you saw my one of my other videos, you'll know that I got the Kato uh, Twilight Express, which is something I've been looking forward to for the last, I don't know, three years in the making or so. You already know it's good, because look at that emblem, that very awesome nice art deco uh gold <laughs> 1930s circa uh looking thing even though this is a modern train this came out i think in 2019 maybe 2020 i'd have to go back and look but uh you know as the saying goes ever since i laid eyes on that i wanted it and i've been going back and forth between do i get the kato version or the tomix version with both came out at the same time there's pros and cons to each I watched a couple like comparison videos and honestly like I think I'd be happy with either one and they were out of stock everywhere for like ever. Um, you could really only find them used on eBay or brand new on eBay for ridiculous pricing. So you know I just played it, played it cool, had some patience and uh, the Kato version came back in stock and in fact for a little bit even of a discount I got. Uh, Tomix is still out of stock as far as I know and everywhere so uh, even though the Tomix one has lights, I figured I cannot go wrong with the Kato version since I can always put lights in them anyway if I want to. And uh, my Shikishima is a Tomix already, so I thought this as a Kato would complement the Tomix Shikishima quite nicely. So I have not even taken these out of the case yet. Chrome buys up. <laughs> I, all I did was open it once during that unboxing video. So we're going to do a little bit more in-depth here because uh, this is really super something special. Here is the paperwork. Let's take a peek at what you get. Of course, everything's in Japanese, but we live in the future and can easily translate. This. There's the real one. Cool, full-color image. Uh, it just looks so cool. <laughs> like, definitely a futuristic-looking thing. There's all the components of what you get, too. Very interesting. I've never seen a full-color image, I don't think, on any of these train unboxings before. So that's nice that uh, you get that. So, all right. Let me put that away. Back in its casing to keep it mint. And then the train themselves is under this plastic bit, and wow, 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 is it a sight to behold. <laughs> uh, it's a really good green color with gold accents. I love it so much. It looks amazing. Uh, definitely, you can tell it's a high quality item and uh, something special just from the, the first reveal here. Uh, like I said, I haven't even taken these out, so I haven't even had ch a chance to really like look them over or do anything too special. Uh, I noticed they're all numbered too. Look at that. So I've never seen this on train. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten cars, so I assume they're all numbered. And uh, let's go ahead and take out the first guy, which is, of course, the main focus of this whole thing because of that amazing front end. When I first saw this, I thought it looked a little ridiculous, but you know what? It grew on me extremely quickly, and uh, I like it a lot. <laughs> it's, so, it, it's so different, um, and they did a good job with this model from the details perspective. You can see little seats in there, blue carpeting. Uh, that front end is a like a little area you can walk out on and just watch the tracks go by and it kept this is the front and the back end looks the same so i assume you can do it on the back too uh interesting it's got like tomix style couplers on the back which all my tomix bullet trains have that same little plug interesting to see that on a kato i've never seen that on a kato before so that's cool uh here's some more engines i guess i guess everyone is going to be a little unique uh, inside you can see more little seats if you can tell in the video it's kind of hard to judge but uh, you got the the emblem or the uh, the name 
if I can get it to focus. Come on. Does not want to be cooperative. <laughs> uh, the na the Twilight Express name is on the side there, and then I guess that, that emblem we saw is on the very back. Come on, why aren't you focusing? What if I zoom? That's a little better. Uh, you can see there's like some diamond plate sparkles in that green, which is kind of neat. And again, it, it really makes it pop and feel like something special. It not just a, it's not just a flat green uh, that you might expect. So that's cool. Uh, let me pick up this guy. Oh, here's the engine. So the motor's in this one. Uh, this looks like a sleeper car, maybe? There's some little cabins inside. So that's cool. It weighs a lot. Hopefully the motor's good. Just kind of looking it over here. Again, this is the first time I've taken these out of the box. So this is like a true unboxing. Very, very nice. All right, of course we got to get it out on that track. So let me take off the cleaner cars. Did we pick up any dust? This is actually the second run I went through. Ah. Uh, there's a little bit in there, so I'm glad I did it twice. This is my new one too, and it worked, it worked great. <laughs> Way better than the blue one, which I thought was dying anyway. So that's good. Blue one picked up a little bit too. So great to know that the track is all super clean for this brand new special engine. Okay, let's see how to do this with everything in sight. So uh, this is technically the front, so I'm gonna start with the back. Move that out of the way for now. We'll open up the second box. Which again, holds another five. Ooh, this time with some drapes. So if I can get it in the camera there. Looks really nice. Again, these don't have lights in them. Or at least, maybe some of them do. I don't know what has lights. I know that probably the front end had lights. At least. Um, but yeah, I like those drapes. That's, there's some real nice detail in there. And then, of course, this is technically the 10 car, which is kind of a spitting image of the front. Oh, this one has green carpeting on the inside. <laughs> Interesting. But this is the guy that goes on first, so let's see how it rolls. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, number nine is next. And I wonder how these numbers go because obviously 10 is on this side on that car, but all these other ones alter, at least in the box. So is that how you run it? I don't think it matters. Now the real question is, so when these couplers on Tomics it's, it's hard to connect. <laughs> um, like on the track, you have to like pick them up and redo them. So let me see how exactly, or how well I should say, this is, this is gonna work. So does it just snap together on the track or do I have to do something special? Oh, there it goes. That was nice. <laughs> Way easier than the Atomics ones. Oh, it wants to come back this way. So it's great that it rolls like that, because that means the wheels are high quality. Here's the number eight car. This one's got some big old windows. If it, why doesn't my camera want to focus today? So that's cool. That top part is also super shiny. I don't know if it comes across in the video, but uh, the top silver part. It's like extra silver. <laughs> All right, number seven. Nothing special here, there's hardly any windows. This must be some kind of baggage car. Or... Oh no, big windows on this side. Interesting. Is this a sleeper car? I don't know. This one is having trouble. There it goes. 
Ah, that new train roll. <laughs> Very nice. This top one we kind of looked at, it's got some funky windows over here with a funky art piece. It's like spirally and black. I'm pretty sure that's real because I remember seeing that like in the promo video. And like a real detail. A big old emblem uh, on this guy too. Cool. Well, what's great about this is, like I said, they're numbered, so you'll never, you'll you'll know how they should go in order, <laughs> which is nice. Because most of the times I just guess. I don't. I know a lot of times they have, even in this one, has like a little readout of how they should go, but I tend to do it how I want it, and, and you know what I think is the best. And this one doesn't want to go either. I think I'm off. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, I I think this one came out around the same time as when I got the Shikishima. Yeah. Or something like that. Because I know, I remember like, do I get both? Do I only get the one? <laughs> and I had my eye on that Shikishima for a while too. Is just a crazy futuristic awesome looking thing. And I like the fact that it had lights pre-installed on the Atomics version. I think Kato has a version as well, but, you know, no lights. You gotta do it your own. But this, like, I love the color. Oh, that's the engine car. Let me put these other ones on first. And then back it up. So, I like to put the engine car either number two or three. But this one needs to be number four, per the numbering. In fact, I gotta do the front first. So that that's, again, this one's technically the front. And it just looks mean. Like, that's like a, <laughs> a shredder <laughs> inspiration or something. Look. <laughs> From Ninja, Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtles. Alright. Number two is right here. What am I doing? Numbers front or back? Numbers on the front. Oh, he's changing it up. <laughs> Oops. So these connectors I'm noticing have a very interesting uh, plug. Instead of just like the little top part that connects to itself, it also has that bottom piece, which looks a little flimsy, but it also connects uh, there too for an, I guess, extra, <laughs> extra pull. Um, but that's, that is something unique and different that, uh, the Thomas version did not have. Okay, last one. Engine car. It's always a little bit tricky, especially doing this in the middle. Because it doesn't want to roll, and it's got those, uh, grippers on the bottom. So you gotta do it, like, just right. See, that's what's tough about this. You got, you get one on, and then all the wheels farther up get derailed. All right, now hopefully I can just back the front part up and connect right into it, and we'll be good to go. Yes, <laughs> it worked. Fantastic. All right. So with that now out of the way, we have the full train online and on the track. And this video does not do it justice because it looks really dark uh, on the screen. But that is a great looking train. It's something special for sure. And it looks really nice with my color colorful Lego layout in the background there. <laughs> now my camera's going nuts. All right. So, moment of truth. Let me back up a little bit more. We can get this thing going and see how she rolls. So there we go, bit of a wind to get going, but usually these new cars do when they're out of the box. But it's super smooth, I can already tell. And it looks like there's lights only on the front and the back car. You can see it come around. It's 
So maybe, I mean, this. I was always debating on the lights because they kind of flicker since I don't DCC on my layout. But since I, ever since I got the new power box, they don't flicker uh, as much. So maybe I should get some lights and this will look even more amazing. More in the dark over here, but I'm trying to catch it on the flip side as it rolls through the little village. Then I'll do a more in-depth view uh, or review of this later on once I have a chance to play around with it and actually get back into those reviews. <laughs> so you'll get my full thoughts at some point, but this is just a quick intro. And unboxing, of course. Went for the slowdown shot as it comes around the corner here. And that is super nice and super slow. And something derailed? I hear some clicking. Nope. Must have been just a. Nope, I do hear something. Where are you? That one. Look, it derailed on me. First go. Oh no. Why? <laughs> Why, oh why? Hopefully that's just out of the box jitters. But no matter, uh, it still looks good, so. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking since it is such a dark train that lights, especially with these big windows in some of these cars, are gonna look awesome. So it's just a matter of me, I guess, buying some Kato lights and sticking them in there uh, if I ever get around to it because that'll probably cost me another for 10 you get a six pack for 40 maybe there's a 10 pack nowadays so probably another 60 or 70 to uh, get lights in them so I'll have to think about that but for now uh, as is as it looks uh, it's it's quite nice <laughs> I just don't have the spot for them in my case, though. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, I have to make a room and sell some stuff. But for what it is, and for the price, I thought I got a pretty good deal on. Um, you know, like I said, I've had my eye on this for two or three years, and here it is in the flesh. I just need to make sure it doesn't derail. <laughs> like that first car, or whatever car that was. Which one was it? I can't see. Fix that later. But yeah, this is just, like I said, I wanted to do some first thoughts as I unbox it and uh, get it out on the track for reels. Let me know your thoughts below, because uh, I think it's awesome, but I assume you guys think it's awesome too, or is it too weird looking? Uh, I'm sure there's many opinions out there, but for now, I love it, and that's really all that matters. And of course, the final question is, do you ultimately put lights on up in them? Or keep it as is. I'm thinking lights would be a total bonus because like I said, it is a fairly dark train. So with lights, that I think will really pop and look amazing there. So, alright, I've talked too much. <laughs> I'll stop it there like I stopped the train. And as always, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. This has been fun, at least it is for me, to kind of document what I'm doing here. And uh, all I can say is, you know, I, I hope you found it at least a little bit entertaining. And even just a wee bit inspiring. So, happy trails, more to come for sure. <laughs>